Hello there, it's Stephen Ball here at Delphia Ball and today in this video I'm going to be looking at the MailChimp API and specifically the MailChimp API has a member rating which tells you how active somebody is in engaging with your mass emailing that you're sending out via the MailChimp system. So this is a really really useful value to be able to fetch back programmatically to help prioritize who your sales team are going to be contacting through your CRM systems that you're building. So let's go and have a look at how we can do that. So if you're if you're not used to Mailchimp, um, just go along uh, to Mailchimp.com and you can find out a bit about what Mailchimp is. Uh, but basically, it allows you to design some really cool emails that you can then send out and then have tracking to find out who's clicking on the emails and what links and it's a really kind of cool system for, for mass mailing and one of the market leaders. Now MailChimp has a developer API which is in its third version. It's all REST and JSON based as uh, so you can see here you kind of get JSON data packets back and uh, basically it runs off uh, a root URL that is based on the server that your account is connected to, so you do need to check that and um, have a look at my blog notes for that. And uh, it then verifies the version, this is version 3. Uh, then one of the verbs is lists. Now lists in MailChimp's terms are what your members subscribe up to. So with the lists there's then a list ID which it passes a parameter, a slight variation from uh, standard REST but yeah, it works reasonably well here. And then on that list, you then have specific members, and you can then query based on a member ID. And the member ID is based on a, uh, an MD5 hash of the lowercase version of the email address. So using those details, we can then get the base information about the member, and that will include the rating. Now, to help me along the way today, um, you can use the REST debugger from Embarcadero. If you just go to the Embarcadero website, under free tools, REST debugger, you can download it from there. It's a really, really useful tool, uh, especially if you're using Delphi and C++. Um, but if you're not, then it's a great way just to be able to get to specific JSON data packets without having to kind of do the code yourself to kind of get there. Okay, so I'm going to go into Rad Studio here. I've got the REST debugger under the tools menu. Uh, this is the version that comes with Rad Studio. It's exactly the same apart from the kind of the splash screen and the useful links that are in the free version. Um, the great thing is though when you're using the two, um, it will remember where you've been and the settings that you've configured. So it'll be able to pick those up and, and pull that information back nice and quickly. And that allows you to kind of get to the advanced feature of copy components. So here I can see I've got my uh, my base API URL, uh, that's what the client's going to be using, my parameters which is lists, list ID, members and then the email address and then literally just double click on these you can then set the values for the parameters. I'm just going to do a send request here, we can see that's working, so my authentication is all set up, everything's good to go. So I can just copy the components, it's told me what it's connected, uh, copied into the clipboard there. Let's just come in here and go paste. So let's just uh, lay these out. There's the client, the REST request, the response, oh, the authentication. So we can see here we've got the authentication which is connected to from the client. The REST request connects to the client with the resource of lists, list ID, members, email address, which then forms the two parameters which have then been set. And if I just go ahead and right click and execute, we'll get an OK here back at design time, uh, just as we did in the REST debugger. Uh, and I can then get straight into that content, I can copy that content out of either the component or I can just pop back to my REST debugger and let's just select everything in here copy okay so let's now I'm just gonna let's open up uh, another tool now this is uh, JSON to Delphi class and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the JSON data packet that we've just fetched 
and I'm going to go uh, visualize which is going to then build a tree view structure of the JSON and I can go ahead here and just rename this to let's say MC member merchant member and let's call it MailChimp members preview the unit and I'm just going to be really lazy I'm just going to copy all of that and then back in Delphi let's just go ahead and add a new unit paste it all in and we're just going to go ahead and save all of this okay I've um, so if this is unit 2, let's make sure that unit matches the names. Okay, so in here now I have T MailChimp member class, and this has a class function which works from JSON string and returns back a MailChimp class. So in here, let's go ahead and put down a button. And we just need to add to the uses to because I changed the name of it. And we're going to use the from JSON string. Now we need a JSON string, so we're declare a string here called data. And the data is going to be the response dot content what could be the JSON string and here we're just going to call rest request one dot execute and here we're going to take um, merchant member and we can just do a quick try finally MCM dot three and MCM and I can now see all the properties of that JSON as I would any other classes so I want the member rating and I'm just going to do a um, show message here just to show that we've got it and I'm just going to do a two string on that and we can see 5 is the member rating, which is great. Uh, now if I wanted to send different parameters, then all I'd need to do here is just set uh, the rest request one dot params dot param by name, and then just using the parameter names that we've got on the rest request here, so list ID and email ID. Um, I could then go ahead and say, oh, let's put um, list ID in here value equals let me see whatever um, we can go and update the list IDs or the email addresses directly from here uh, and if you want to use the MD5 hash then you can just use system dot hash uh, so it's probably actually a good thing to do the email address and uh, let's just put in edit one dot text here and we'll do t hash md5 get hash string here we are, that'll update that so what we need now is an edit control and let's type in my email address in there So it's the email address that's on my list. So let's go ahead and run. And that's come up as five. And if I do foo at foo.com or foo.om, there's zero. So that email address doesn't exist. Um, uh, it's returning back a zero as a, a rating for that API call. So that's about it. 
Hope you found that useful and uh, shows you how simple it is to actually use the MailChimp API using Delphi and the REST debugger.